Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can enable hibernation mode for Windows 10. Hibernation is really good for high-run zombies because you don't have to keep your PC on overnight. And if you have your PC hibernated while you have a game going and your power goes off, you won't lose your game. You could literally unplug your PC and just move it around, replug it and the game is still going to be there as long as your PC is hibernated. Okay, so how do we set this up? You're gonna go here in your search bar, you're gonna search for power and sleep settings. Once you're here, you're gonna make sure these two are set to never. Then on the right, you're gonna click on additional power settings. Now you wanna hit the box that says high performance. It might be at the bottom here. And once you've done that, you're gonna click on change blend settings. And make sure these two are set to never. And then change advanced power settings. Um, turn off hard disk after, uh, this has to be never, it's probably going to be 20 by default. Um, you don't really have an option for never, so all you do is just put in the zero and there you go, never. And then you're going to go to sleep and just copy these settings that I've got over here. So, never, on, never, disable. Apply, okay. And now we're not done yet. We're going to go back to power options. And then you want to go to choose what the power buttons do. Once you've done that, uh, you don't have to do anything with those unless you want to. What you do want to do is change settings that are currently unavailable. But make sure you tick the hi hibernate box. And save settings. Click this way. We're done. Now if you go to your place where you turn off your PC, you should have this option called hibernate now. Now if it's not there, just restart your PC and it should be there. Once that's done, you'll open up device manager. This is quite important because your mouse, your keyboard, your Ethernet adapters, they like to turn your PC back on from hibernating. So in order to disable that, we're going to go to keyboard. Right click each one of those until you find one that has a power management tab. This one. And then uncheck this box. Okay. Just check them all, like each one of those. You're going to do the same for mice. And then the same for network adapters. So once again, make sure you uncheck the power management box that says, or in power management, the box that says allow this device to wake the computer. Okay, once you've done that, there's a few things I want to explain real quick. This works for Black Ops 1, 2 and 3. I don't know if it works for Cold War, I don't know if it works for BO4, I don't play that trash. That you can test out for yourself. For Black Ops 1, it works for Steam and B Gamer. For Black Ops 2, it works for Redacted. I don't know if it works for Steam, I don't play around on Steam, I don't know if it works for Plutonium, I don't play around on Plutonium. For BO3, it works for Steam, however I've never really tested it in a long game. It is safe for Fit Girl. I've used it in my Shadows of Evil 2.16 game, I've used it in my Revelations Will uh, First Room game. So, it, it, that works, that's safe to use. One thing you want to make sure before you hibernate your PC is you turn off everything that you don't need. So you don't need Spotify, you close it. OBS, definitely want to close that. If the browsers, close it. Now, if you have any issues when you wake up your PC from hibernation, your game might be laggy for a minute or two. I have that sometimes on BO3. Just give it some time. If you keep having this issue and doesn't go away, reset your Windows. Just re reinstall it. You don't have to reset, reset your PC, just reinstall Windows. This is also important that you want to test this out before you go an actual game. What you can do is just go to a game, I don't know, round skip to round 50 or just play a few rounds when you go to bed, put your PC in hibernation, wake it up the next morning, play a bit, and if it's fine, you know your PC is good to go. If it's not fine, you're gonna have to reset windows or check all the settings again. You wanna do the same for BO1 and BO2, just make sure you, you don't play like 8 hours on one day, hibernate your PC for your game to be crashed. Okay, anyways, that's it. I hope this, guy, uh, this helped you guys out. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Peace.